Yo guys, what's up? It is Crips, and today I'm going to be showing you all the Fawn Hunter set. Now this set can be obtained from the Grasp of Avarice dungeon, which is included in the Anniversary Pack. And in this video, I'll be showing you the entire set with different armor and exotic combinations. I'll also be showing some of the best shaders on the set, so I will leave some timestamps on screen if you want to skip ahead. But yeah, I will have a set video for the Warlock and Titan coming very soon. I'll make videos on those sets as soon as I get all the pieces, so consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on those videos and yeah without further delay it's time to get straight into the set so this is the entire set on a female hunter now if you like symmetrical sets then you're gonna absolutely hate this i personally don't mind this although i really don't like the helmet design now before i get into the individual pieces i do want to point out that the set can fully shader there are some slight glows on the helmet arms and chest although with a lot of shaders you will see that the glows will turn off even with one of the brightest glow shaders Gambit Jade Stone, there is no glow visible, so I don't know if this is intentional or if it's a bug. But anyways, it's time we get into the individual armor pieces, starting off with the helmet. Now, like I just mentioned, this is my least favorite armor piece, and this is mainly because of the way it's designed. I would have rather seen a helmet design like the Kins 4 helm back in D1. Now, I did find a really great alternative for this helmet, and this is the Dendrite Shimmer Mask. Now, this is from the New Dawn in set, and I have made a video showing all of the sets, and as you can see, with darker shaders like refurbished black armory it really blends well with these other pieces another piece you could possibly use is the illicit invader mask which you will sell at some point during the season and for any of you which like using the beastly visage ornaments for the mask of bacris here it is on the entire set and another exotic i found to look really good with this was the wormhurst crown you do want to use golden shaders with this so i do recommend gold leaf although for any of you which do have it here is what omnicronia looks like as well as callus's treasure now moving on to the arms, these are probably my favourite piece of the entire set. I really love the way this is designed and it looks really awesome when using a bow. I also like how one side is fully plated and the other side is more minimal. Now there is one issue with the way this is designed and that is the fact that you have to deal with the cloth on the other arm. It does mean that with some shaders you may get some secondary colours. Now if you're like me and want to switch out the chest plate then the scorned baron plate is a great alternative. This chest plate can drop from ledged raingrams and the way this is designed really blends well with these arms. You want to stay away from clean plated pieces and go with something that's more wrecked and cut down. And another chest plate that could work really well with this is the Dragonfly Regalia from the Eververse Archive. You will find with this set that a lot of shaders will conflict with these arms. The best thing I can suggest when using the Dragonfly pieces with these Fawn pieces is to stick with simple shaders that use one primary colour. Now there is one last chest plate I want to show you all with this and that is the Ophidian Spaith with the Queen cobra ornament this ornament i think somewhat suits this theme and you can see in this set i made it does look pretty good if you're wondering where the boots are from they are from the crown of sorrows raid which unfortunately is no longer in the game and i did find that the Alyssa reaper mask does look pretty cool with this as well then moving on to the chest plate you can see there is a leather piece with some hive scales now this to me is all right although most of the issues you'll have with this is shadering you will have these vastly contrasting colors with a lot of shaders and this is because of the textures although I did find that you could use the leather parts to your advantage and you could instead pair this with the lucky pants exotic to make a hive gunslinger you could also keep the arms with this because I do think it suits this sort of look now anyways moving on to the boots I personally think these are fantastic easily for me one of the better pieces of this set the way these boots are designed does remind me a bit of a knight and with this idea in mind I try my best to make a hive knight look so I went ahead and used the Nemian chest plate as this does blend pretty well with these pieces and then I used the wild hunt cloak so that I could get rid of the hood and then the virtuous mask as it does somewhat resemble a knight helmet and then finally here we have the cloak now I personally don't mind how the cloak splits off towards the ends my main issue with this cloak is the way these spikes are designed now I did find that the Katuria mask does interact differently with this cloak this mask usually would remove the hood of any cloak but with this one it does just fold it over so you can create some really unique cloaks with this now anyways, I'm going to be showing you all what I think are some of the best shaders on the set. Starting off with Archeos skin which gives the set a more hive look. And also creates a really nice green glow like what's present on the hive. Now the only issue is that it is from the Festival of the Lost event. So you will need to wait until the next Halloween event. Then we have Rose Scale which is from this season's Crucible. Really great if you want a nice all red look. And on the plating it will create a scaly look. Then for any of you wanting a nice dark blue we have Refro 
Regalia from this season's Crucible. There is some purple present, although this is only visible on the chest plate and the helmet. Then next we have Omnicronia as well as Continuum Alloy from the Victor Over the Vaults bundle. Out of the two shaders, I think Omnicronia is a much better one to use. It applies much better to these pieces, and you can use this with the Wormhurst Crown Exotic. Then next we have Burnished Reed from the 30th Anniversary event. This is a really nice green shader, particularly on the arms, boots, and cloak. And another nice green shade I'd recommend is Old Grove from last season's Gambit. This green's a bit more worn down, and I think it much better suits these pieces. Now, for any of you wanting a mostly white look, here is Bitter Pearl. This is from the Pearl of Glass Triumph in the Vault of Glass raid. And I also found Amrita's Dream from this season's past to also create an almost all white look. Now, moving on, we have Abyssinian Gold, which can sometimes be sold in the Bright Dust store. Easily one of the best dark shaders you can use on the set. Then, next, one of my personal favourite shaders is Horizon's Blush. Really great dark red shader, and it looks phenomenal on the plated parts of the pieces. Unfortunately, this is no longer obtainable as it was from the Season of the Hunt pass. Then, next, we have Shattered Sky for collecting all nine penguin collectibles on Europa. This gives a nice lighter blue look to the set. Then next we have Carbon Bloods. Doesn't really use much of the reds but is pretty good if you want a darker look with some nice white glows. And then here is Rustberry which is another shader from the Bright Dust store. If you exclude the boots and the cloak then you can use this for a darker look. Then we have Carminica from the Season of Arrivals Crucible. Really nice rough red look on the plating. The only issue is that the leather does shader a bit differently to the cloth. Then moving on we have Jacarina which is probably one of the best shaders on the set. It actually shaders the glows properly and gives a nice clean look to the plating. Then for any of you which like your darker shaders we have Oiled Gunmetal, Skelligal and also Amethyst Veil. Vale. There's also Gambit Suede as well as Dreaming Spectrum which are great for a bone look. Gambit Suede coming from a previous Gambit season and Dreaming Spectrum coming from the Last Wish raid. Now similar to this there's also Mercury of X Chrome from the shader bundle in the Eververse archive and also from this bundle there is Metro Shift which gives a really nice dark look to the arms, helmet and chest. It does add some blue on the cloak and boots, although I still think this looks really great. And for any of you wanting some shine on that plating, there's also Indigo Matrix in that bundle. And then the final shade I want to show you all on this set is Callus's Treasured, although unfortunately it's from the Prestige Leviathan Raid, which is no longer in the game. So yeah, that is pretty much the Fawn Hunter set. I hope these armor combinations and shaders give you some ideas as to what you can do with it. And if this video did help you out, then please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also go ahead and join my discord if you haven't already. We have over 6,000 members and is a great place to share and get some advice on your destiny fashion. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and an extra thank you to all my YouTube members for the amazing support. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.